idiot. This thing is bulletproof. Nice try. This thing's made to withstand not one, but two grenades. Oh, son of a... You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is a $500,000 bulletproof Bentley Bentega. The Bentley Bentega on its own is effectively a jewelry store on wheels. The interior greets you with the smells of sumptuous leather and real wood trim and genuine metal accents. It looks, well, exactly like you think a Bentley SUV would on the outside. But in this case, it's what's on the inside that counts. Or rather, what's between the inside and the outside. Because this Bentega has been fully and completely rebuilt from the ground up by Incas, an armored car manufacturer who knows a thing or two about making a tough vehicle. So if, like us, you're crushed by the curiosity of driving past an ominous building with peculiar vehicles leaving and entering, then don't worry. We stepped inside to see what was going on. This behemoth behind me is the Incas Century APC. You don't actually need something like this if you're rolling around on the road, because here in the Incas factory, they armor anything, from Cadillac Escalades to Toyota Land Cruisers to a Prius if you wanted it. Okay, maybe not a Prius, unless you swapped a V8 into it, because armoring a car adds quite a lot of weight. This is the first stage, so this is where they start removing the interior panels so they can get it prepared for welding on the ballistic steel. And that steel is specially made to different levels to withstand different types of weapon impact. Thankfully, it's no match for Incas's manufacturing tools. This is a CO2 cutter. It cuts through ballistic steel like butter. If you wanted to cut through mild steel, it can cut through one inch, no problem. Now, once Incas has done their incredibly extensive R&D on a vehicle like the Bentega, they then custom cut each plate of steel, which I can be seen here pointlessly testing with a crowbar, and weld it to the entirety of the bare bones of the car. While their extensive armoring is impressive, what's more impressive is how they make a fully armored vehicle like the Bentega feel, well, normal. If you're new to Throttle House, we do car reviews, <laughs> track tests, no! and quite a lot of messing around. So subscribe and hit the bell. You can get this in a V8, but this W12 with twin turbos has the power that you need to make this incredibly heavy armored vehicle feel quick. 600 horsepower coming from that W12 and 664 pound-feet of torque launches this to 100 kilometers an hour in four seconds on a normal day when it doesn't have ballistic steel lining its insides. All right, put my foot down. This pulls. It defies physics. And it has that smooth, creamy W12 Bentley acceleration still, even still, with all the weight. Now this is on the normal air suspension. Incas will often put their own suspension in to deal with the extra weight, but because Bentley's suspension's so good, they don't need to do that. And in fact, it still adjusts. The car goes up and down with the sport mode and comfort mode as it would normally. Around the corners, it doesn't honestly feel that different to a normal SUV. There's a, there's a kind of a lumbering quality to it as it goes over the bumps. It's almost like the dampers just need an extra tick of time to, to come back from the, the, the compression stroke. I do find you don't really feel the mass actually rolling over the bumps normally, but you feel it when you're braking. More importantly, it rides like a Bentley still. It is soft, it is luxurious. So you've got size, you've got weight, and you've got power. Put it this way, if this was Grand Theft Auto, I'd be testing out how much this can push other cars like a fire truck. The thing is, is that <laughs> this isn't even the heaviest, most beefy, armored Bentley Bentayga that Incas could make you. They could make you one with an even higher level of protection. So as we said earlier, this costs $500,000 US. You can make it cost more if you want by adding things like smoke screens and exterior cameras, but this one you see here is armored to a BR6 level. That means it can withstand straight shot from an AK-47. It's also armor plated on the underside to withstand grenade blasts. You can armor it to a BR7 level, which is even more, 
but at some point it starts to become impractical because the vehicle is just going to weigh so much. How is this car this fast? And it puts that power down so easily because it has an all-time all-wheel drive system. It's on the MLB platform, the same as the Urus, the Cayenne, the Q7. Okay, and it's easy to say that an Urus and this car are like a gussied up Touareg, except I can guarantee you when you see a Touareg or another Urus on the road, they're not bulletproof. The W12 on a good day doesn't have good fuel economy, but this one with all the extra added weight is doing 35 liters per 100 kilometers. Now where it is efficient is getting around town because Incas has outfitted this one with some extra goodies, like this thing. Excuse me. Coming through. Important person coming through. But let's go talk a little bit more about what makes this Bentley so special. Oh. Heaviest door ever, right? It's so heavy. <laughs> and the soft close still works. It's heavy for a very good reason, because there is 40 millimeters of bulletproof glass here. This can stop a 762 round. That always happens in Toronto. <laughs> yeah, always, no. yeah. My Miata's not been doing it for me. So. It, well, it's not just the glass, but the, this is all steel plated, right? Obviously everything is completely yeah, steel plated. Yeah, this weighs like seven and a half thousand pounds. So it's like 2000 pounds more. It's insane. It's insanely and heavy. And yet the way it drives, it's unbelievable. It is. And the most impressive part about it is that this is stock suspension. This is a stock Bentley suspension. That's crazy. Like, like kudos to Bentley, because usually Inc Incas has to do custom suspension to be able to withstand the weight of what they've added to the vehicle. But this is normal, and it rides normally. It's crazy. It doesn't look different either from the outside. No, you could. there's no way you could tell this was armored. Although the, the windows are a little bit more tinted, if you wanted to look. I suppose, yeah. yeah. The back is really cool, though. Okay, so this is not bulletproof, this section here, because there is a, a bulkhead, which is completely bulletproof. So there's like a cocoon of safety on the inside. So your hostage in the inside is dead. The, we, don't care about them. we don't care about them anyway. Right. Uh, this piston would not nearly be strong enough or anyone really to, to withstand the weight of bulletproofing this actual hatch and also you'd have to lift it yourself otherwise yeah right. it would be really really difficult so that's why that it, it otherwise in here yeah. Dwayne Johnson's Bentayga has the uh yeah he, he can do it yeah. yeah no big deal he just holds it up he's like what's that and then <laughs> it's pinky yeah. and then this area is completely normal actually everything about this vehicle feels completely normal if you live in a world where you're driving Bentley Bentaygas <laughs> it's yeah. fair nothing normal about it should we look at the interior yeah <sighs> Heaviest doors we've ever had on the it's channel. It's crazy. By a mile. Absolutely crazy. Yeah. Oh, inside is a Bentley. So it's very nice. Beautiful and yeah. customized. Yeah. You know. Yeah, these are really cool, actually. Yeah, because they're not they're not mechanical. No, no. They, they feel like at it one is. point in history they were. Yeah. Yes, but now they are. But they, you can feel it slowly electronically closes. Yes, yes. You yes. can see the Audi VW stuff here. Like these yep. are pretty much the exact climate controls we had in the TTRS recently. Yep, yep. We got our drive modes down here, which is really nice. Yeah, and in the back we have the the controller for the climate. Yeah. Everything. So what's different between a normal Bentayga? and the Incas Bentega. First things first, they take everything out. They Which strip the crazy. entire inside. It's crazy to me. And then they and then they put it all back in. I know because like you wouldn't you'd never know. Like they, they, they've yeah, done they've some of their it. own. They've matched it on the windows. They've here. done their own stitching and it matches perfectly. It feels darker. And there's there's two reasons for that. The glass is four centimeters thick. It feels like concrete. It feels like concrete, yeah. Okay, normally here there'd be a headline that goes back to reveal a glass sunroof. Yes. Instead, we have leather and behind is just ballistic steel. Ballistic steel. Ballistic, you can't get tired of saying steel. it. It's like that. Mufasa, you know. Mufasa. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We're so dumb. Okay, this is the thing that tells me. This is the cheeky machine. This is, this is so I can yell at less important people and tell them to get out of my way. Um, whale, phaser, yelp. I know what, wait, I know what, Yelp is just the uh, the really overly aggressive app that makes you download it every time you want to see reviews. <laughs> That's I right. hate that. What's thing. it doing on the controller? Yeah. Um, otherwise, this is pretty much just a Bentley Bentayga on the yeah, inside. So it's, it's so nice to be inside. Can we go break stuff now? We're going to go try and break some stuff. Okay. Okay, first, normal windshield glass. Now, the glass from the Incas Bentayga. Yeah, you know, there's a whole layer of glass that's 100% fine. For the record, I hit that as hard as I possibly could. All right, so there it is. Turns out bulletproof glass can withstand one Thomas Holland. However you swing it, the Bentley Bentayga is a vehicle that really needed no extra opulence. And yet, with this one, you can laugh at the Bugatti Chiron next to you at the traffic light. For he is not an armored machine, but a regular stupid sports car that trembles at the sight of a BB gun. 
The Incas campus then is a laboratory of genetically enhanced monsters, with this being their newest creation. It is however not the meanest, and we're very much looking forward to seeing what else comes out that gate, even if we did fire Canadian prescription pistols all over the place.